In this video we're going to be looking at how to experimentally determine the Arrhenius parameters, the activation energy and the pre-exponential factor uh, using some kind of graphical method. Okay, so first off, um, how are we going to actually do this? So we want the activation energy and the pre-exponential factor. Now, in principle, we've got two unknowns here, so all we need to do is do the reaction at two different temperatures. R is a constant, um, and we forward record K at two different temperatures, and we can essentially solve these equations simultaneously and get the answer. However, you're going to have some inaccuracies built in here. Because you've got this exponential, it's actually going to potentially introduce some quite large errors. So it's much better to use a graphical method. And let's show how that's possible. So first off, what we're going to do is take logs of both sides of this equation. So if we use the natural log here, we're going to get the log natural logarithm of k is equal to the natural logarithm of all this knot. Now, this is just a product of two terms, which you can express as the sum of its logarithms. And because we've got the logarithm of an e to the something, then we can, oh sorry, logarithm of e to a power, then we can rewrite that as lun a minus e a over r t times ln of e, and because we've used a natural logarithm, then natural log of e is just going to be 1. So we're going to get ln a minus e a over r t. Now let me just rewrite that in a little bit more of a clear way. Um, I'm going to put the minus e a over r there, and that's being multiplied by 1 over t plus ln all I've done is just reorder some terms there. And the reason I've done that is to show you something very important, which is that if we have, what we've got here is log k is equal to a constant multiplied by 1 over t plus another constant. And so we can write this equation as y equals a gradient m plus c. So what we can essentially do is identify this quantity here as the gradient of a graph where log k is plotted on the y-axis against 1 over t on the x-axis. And this quantity here is then the y intercept. I'm calling it that in inverted commas because it's not actually the y-axis um, but it's the y-intercept. So let me show you what that looks like graphically so just remind you of the equation. Um, so we're going to plot here 1 over t as essentially x and we're going to plot the natural logarithm of k effectively as y and if we do that, we're going to get a series of points which are going to have a slope that looks a bit like that. We're then going to say, well, we can describe that relationship just by putting a straight line through the points. And now I've got to be able to do better than that. Something like that. And now the slope of that line, so if we just take the calculate the gradient here, uh, so the slope is minus ea over r so all i need to do is multiply the slope by minus r and i'm going to get the activation energy now this intercept here this y intercept is going to be ln a now that's not going to be determinable anywhere near as accurately because we're extrapolating to find it and to actually find a we're going to need to exponentiate which will introduce additional large errors but in principle it's possible. But the activation energy uh, just by essentially doing minus r times the slope is very much possible and this is a really powerful method for finding it. 